is enough said. What's up, Heat Nation? Video number two of the day. Your boy Ernest here, back with another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Now you know we would not be giving you another video today if it wasn't nothing to report. So sit back, relax, smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and we're going to rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure, because boy is this a good one. Now, um, two different topics I want to talk to you guys about. First topic is Tyler Hero. Second topic is uh, Donovan Mitchell. <clears throat> now, uh, with Tyler Hero, some of you already saw today, but I got to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts on it. Uh, I'm not usually big on this Twitter thing. You know, a lot of people like to speculate things online, uh, basically just be dramatic about stuff. I really don't see a lot of it. It's really a point. It doesn't really mean anything, but sometimes it does. Tyler Hero was on Twitter today liking some comments, and man... I don't know why Tyler Hero does this stuff. <clears throat> Honestly, I mean, it's kind of like dumb. It's a situation that just escalates and it becomes drama and it leads to stuff like this. But boy, is it fun to talk about because I'm the type of dude that just like to sit down, grab some popcorn, eat, and watch some stuff unfold. Because the first tweet was an attack at Jimmy Butler, I felt like. The first tweet says, <clears throat> switch Derek White and Tyler Hero and ask White to be the number one scoring option while Jimmy Butler takes the regular season off and see how good White's efficiency is. Laughing my ass off. Situation matters. Tyler Hero right, liked that tweet. <clears throat> the second tweet says, Free Tyler Hero from this toxic fan base. Miami Heat. He liked that one as well. That's funny. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's depending how you see, like, you know, you got to have a sense of humor. I think it's hilarious. I think it's funny because the first one about Jimmy Butler, I mean, I don't get why he would like that. That doesn't make any sense. I get the frustration, though. You know, it's kind of like what we said with Tyler Hero in the past. You know, Tyler Hero only had one good game against the Boston Celtics in the playoffs. It wasn't because Tyler Hero sucks. It's because Boston just zeroed in on him. There wasn't any Terry Rozier. There wasn't Jimmy Butler. Jaime Jaquez missed the game. Duncan Robinson wasn't himself. You had four focal plates on the offense not there. And you had one guy that is a ball-dominant player, and Boston said, okay, we're just going to double the hell out of that guy, throw our best defenders on him, and just tell everybody else to try to beat us. Obviously, it didn't work. Um, so I get the frustration. I understand it. But to like a tweet like that, you're just asking for drama. Uh, the one about the free Tyler Hero from the Toxic fan base, that's hilarious. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I'm a Heat fan. I, 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 maybe I should be upset about this. I just find it funny because, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Tyler Hero is pissed off playing for a fan base that constantly wants to trade his ass. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I mean, look, is this Tyler Hero doing in his own weird way asking out from the Miami Heat? I don't think so. I think it's Tyler Hero being a 24-year-old and doing dumb stuff on social media and the internet world is just freaking out about it. I mean, could it be more? Maybe. Maybe. You know, that's just how people are built these days. You know, some people don't like to speak when they're going through a certain thing. They just like to... Lash out on social media? Hey, I mean, if that's how you like to do it, then shows you if you're a heat culture player. But if you ask me, I really don't think this is much. I just think this is maybe Tyler seeing a situation, making a mistake. You see that happen a lot of times in social media. Um, I re but honestly, I don't really think it's a big deal. I think Spo will whip this team into shape. Um, I will say this. I will say this. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but a couple months ago, we did have Ethan Skolnick on the, the Miami Heat roundtable. He did mention something on the roundtable that I found very interesting, because I'm not sure if you guys remember this or not. Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero had a great relationship in Tyler's rookie season. Tyler Hero was under Jimmy Butler's wing his entire rookie season. You guys remember the bubble, remember? Tyler Hero, put me on your ticky tock talking about Tyler's brothers, you know. They had a great relationship. Ethan told us that in the second year of Tyler's uh, Tyler's sophomore year with Jimmy, their second year together, there was some friction, not between them, between the parties around them, like their friends. 
and it created a rift between Jimmy and Tyler. And ever since the 2021 season, I haven't seen that same Jimmy Butler and Tyler Hero. You know, they've been cordial, but we all know at work, there's people that you mess with. And then there's just some people that you see, you're like, all right, I got to work with him. You know, cool. I don't mess with you, but I'll work with you. Maybe that's the situation that's going on. I don't know if it's going to continue to work or not, but I have said this before and I'll say it again. I don't think Tyler Hero has to be traded. I think Tyler Hero just needs to know his role on this team. Tyler Hero is a starter in San Antonio. Tyler Hero is a starter in Utah. Tyler Hero could be a starting shooting guard in majority of the teams in the NBA. He's a really good player. But in this Miami Heat team, with this current roster assembled, I think that Tyler Hero's best position is the sixth man coming off the bench. Being a scoring option for anybody that needs to go to the bench. Because we've seen in the past that against the second unit, Tyler Hero balls. And when Tyler Hero's out there with Jimmy Butler, their game doesn't really mesh the best. So if you put Tyler Hero and commit him to the Manu Ginobili role, I think this team will be fine. Do I think we're a championship contender? Do I think that we're going to be the favorites in the East next season? Not really. A lot of teams have made moves. I mean, you're competing against Boston. That's who you're going against. But New York has made moves. Philadelphia has made a huge move, getting Paul George. You need to mix with that. You need to compete with that. And what have I said in the past? I love Tyler Hero. But what this Miami Heat team truly needs, if you want to be considered a favorite in the East and contend for a title, you need to look at a guy that you can go to every game in the regular season when he's out there. The Miami Heat thought they had that in Tyler Hero last year. If you remember, the first five games of the season, even though Jimmy Butler took a game off for rest, Tyler Hero was the number one scoring option those first five games before he rolled his ankle. He was averaging about 26 points a game. He was putting up all-star level numbers. Then he got hurt, came back, shot the bet. Tyler Hero is a guy that on a night, he'll drop 35 points on you. you would be like, yo, Tyler's a beast. And then the next night, he'll drop 10. He's not consistent. This Miami Heat team needs a number one option who's going to be consistent. I love Jimmy Butler, but he's not going to play 82 games. It is what it is. We know what we have with Jimmy. We know with Jimmy, when the lights are brightest in the playoffs, that's when we're going to go with Jimmy. But you need a guy that can give it to you in the regular season. Jimmy is determined to have a better regular season. I'm hearing that, but I've heard that before. I want to see it. I do feel that Jimmy Butler is going to play better in the regular season because it's a contract year. But what the Miami Heat need to focus on right now, the Miami Heat, excuse me, is Donovan Mitchell. That's the guy that I'd be zeroing in right now. We've talked a lot about Donovan Mitchell in the past. It was reported a few days ago that it's like that Donovan Mitchell is possibly going to um, sign an extension with Cleveland, a five-year, $209 million contract. But that extension has been on the table for a long time now, not just this offseason, they've been offering it to the guy the entire year. He's declined it multiple times. A lot of people are saying it's going to happen. What are you talking about? If it's going to happen, it should have happened already. If Donovan Mitchell has not signed that contract extension yet, you guys, that is that is me. If I'm the Miami Heat, I'm just calling him. I'm like, yo, what's it going to take? He hasn't signed yet. You're trying to go all in and get and get Donovan Mitchell. If I'm the Miami Heat, Donovan Mitchell is priority number one. I prefer Donovan Mitchell way over Trey Young. Donovan Mitchell is that guy. We've talked about him multiple times. He's an all-star. He gives you 27 points a game. He averaged close to 30 points a game in the playoffs. He's that Dude, you put him with Bam Adebayo, who he has a great relationship with. You have Jimmy Butler on that team. Now Jimmy Butler and Bam can play the way that they actually play because Donovan Mitchell can be that guy. Now, it was reported today by Sam Amico. This was said by um, Colby Altman, the Cleveland Cavaliers general manager on Donovan Mitchell's, uh, Donovan Mitchell's extension talks. We feel good about Donovan. He's in a great space. He's invested. Hopefully soon, we'll have more of a decisive answer on that for you. But he's pro-Cleveland. That's BS. (laughs) You know what that sounds like? 
exactly what Joe Cronin said almost a year ago about Damian Lillard. When they met with Damian Lillard, he said, Damian Lillard's in this great place right now with Portland. We are committed to building around Damian Lillard. What the hell happened three days later? He requested a trade. That's all the signs that tells me that this dude might be wanting out. You don't believe me? They signed Kenny Atkinson as their coach. Sure, Donovan Mitchell likes that signing. I mean, fine. Let's say he does. But is Kenny Atkinson really better than J.B. Bickerstaff? Really? I don't think so. I don't think he's that guy that moves the needle. You know who's a coach that does move the needle? Eric Spolstra. If you put Donovan Mitchell on this roster with Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler, you guys, that's a contender. You sprinkle in some Terry Rozier, and it's depending on what you're going to trade for Donovan Mitchell. And I've said it in the past, you guys. I know Heat fans are going to be pissed off with certain offers. We've talked about Donovan Mitchell trades. I've given you guys multiple packages in the past. But there's one thing I want to read to you guys. A tweet that makes this very interesting. And why Donovan Mitchell hasn't signed. Now this is from a Miami Heatle. If you guys don't follow him in tweet, uh, Twitter, great feed, gives some great feedback for the Miami Heat, but he also had some great insights. Uh, predicts some great stuff. And this one sparked my attention. Donovan Mitchell saw how the Damian Lillard situation played out last year. He's now waiting for the trade market to dry up so the Miami Heat can come get him. Why do you think Bam Adebayo hinted in his tweet. Why do you think Udonis Haslam hinted at his departure from Cleveland on ESPN? Why do you think Jimmy Butler hasn't demanded out already? Why do you think he still hasn't signed that $209 million extension sitting in front of him? End quote. I'm not saying that that's what Donovan Mitchell is doing. I'm just saying that the way that everything's playing out, it seems a little funny that Donovan Mitchell hasn't signed that extension. And if the market is drying up the way it actually is, how many teams can actually make an offer for Donovan Mitchell? Maybe this is the case. Maybe Donovan Mitchell saw exactly what happened with um, Damian Lillard last year and is thinking, I don't want that to happen to me. Donovan Mitchell and the Miami Heat have had mutual interest in the past. We know this. Bam on the bio and Donovan Mitchell are great friends. There's been a lot of hits between Miami being interested in Donovan Mitchell. Maybe these are all the signs that are planning it. All I know is I do not want another Damian Lillard scenario again. I just hope that if the Heat are going to do this, get it done. What's a package you could do? Well, that's easy. You can throw Tyler. You can have Tyler Hero. You can throw in Nikola Jovic. You can throw in Jaime Jaquez. Hopefully not. But you can also attach two future first round draft picks. You may even attach Kel L. Ware. It doesn't have to be all those pieces. It can be something around it. Miami can build up. Maybe you don't have to add Jaime Jaquez. Maybe it's Kevin Love that you would include in that package. Kevin Love used to play with Cleveland. Maybe he can ride off into the sunset now that the Miami Heat has Kel L. Ware. A lot of interesting packages can happen, but the Miami Heat can make this trade, especially with some of the players they're re-signing. Re They've... Uh, Josh Richardson picked up his $3 million player, uh, player option. You can trade that. You can include that in a deal. You can include Kevin Love. It doesn't have to be Nikola Jovic and Jaime Jaquez Jr. That's why that tweet is interesting to me. Because now the market is drying up. The Heat may not have to go all in to get Damian Lillard. It's going to be interesting. But I promise you guys, the moment I get an update... I'll let you guys know. Thank you guys so much. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about these Tyler Hero likes? You think they mean something? Do you think the Miami Heat still have a chance for Damian Lillard? Let me know in the comments what you think, y'all. Don't forget to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel as we push for 5,000 subscribers. Thank y'all for your support. Enjoy your day. And that is enough said. Yeah, buddy. Let's go.